Fitz, thank you very much. Um, uh, Darren Jaime joins me now, uh, senior chaplain for the Syracuse Police Department. Um, I have to ask you, you know, um, you were at the hospital um, last night. Um, let's talk about the officer's side of it first. As a chaplain, that's what you're there to do in kind of tragic situations. Never before have you had to do this kind of thing. Usually it's on the other end. You're supporting community, uh, but you're there to support the officers last night. What was that like at the hospital? Heart-wrenching. You know, it's heart-wrenching. It's tragic. Um, you have these officers who go out to protect and serve, and now they're coming back to a hospital worried about their own and the status of their own. And so it was extremely emotional yesterday. I think a lot of people, um, it's still surreal. A lot of people are still in shock. Um, talking to officers today and, and family members, it's a lot of shock and being surreal that knowing that this happened right in our backyard, right here. Yeah, amazing, amazing to hear uh, Bill Fitzpatrick say it is his 32 year career. It seems like he, he's seen everything and he's never had to as district attorney respond to an officer, let alone two officers being killed in the line of duty. And here you are, you've been in our community for a number of years now. Um, obviously, you've never had to do this either. It's kind of like we just think that this won't ever happen here, even though we're seeing it more and more around the country. Yeah, 18 years uh, as pastor, as people, people's Amy Zion Church, uh, uh, probably about 10 with the with the department uh, no we haven't seen anything like this and you hope that this is not the case usually when we're out here we're doing invocations and, mm -hmm. and benedictions for people who are graduating or yeah. cadets um, but not to the magnitude of having to deal with deceased officers and those who died in the line of duty. So this is extremely tragic. And part of your job was to meet with the families last night of Officer Jensen, Lieutenant Husek. I mean, what was that like? Can you put that into words? You know, I, 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 I don't, I can't, I'm trying to put them into words. Um, it was very raw. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to say about both of these officers' families that they're extremely resilient mm -hmm. uh, in the face of losing their loved one. Uh, Officer Jansen, people asked me today, uh, asked for that prayer that was taking place outside of the hospital. We gathered all the officers together. That was, uh, that was Officer Jansen's father who wanted that request of having all the officers come together as a sign of unity and praying for one another. Um, the family, uh, Lieutenant uh, Husik, uh, extremely, extremely strong, um, but loving, and they really they really just loved on us as much as we loved on them. We've got about 30 seconds left. Um, your one resource. Other resources for all of these um, law enforcement members to uh, fall back on and get help? Absolutely. The department has peer counseling available, and uh, officers will reach out there. If you need spiritual counseling, we're available as well. So uh, we're, on, we're on site, and we're available, and we'll continue to get through this together as a community. Pastor Darren Jaime, I, I, as always, always appreciate the uh, the conversations we have. Um, you know, it's it's too bad we had to do it under these circumstances, but we do appreciate your time very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, we're gonna.